What a great day in the community. As you can see right now, and by the title of this video, the SNES emulator has been ported to the Nintendo Switch 5.0.2. You're seeing it right here for the first time, I'm sure. Now, this is a great moment. I'm very impressed. I'll be playing it with my PS4 controller, as you can see right here. On the right, I have the Switch running 5, or no, sorry, on the right, I'm running 4.1.0. It is not running on 4.1.0 currently. I am in talks with some developers, seeing if we can get it ported over to this firmware here, or this software, 4.0 all the way through to 5.0.2. Fingers crossed, right? Now, when it comes to 5.0.2, it's running. And as for the audio, as you'll see in just a moment, it's running nice. Very impressed. Now this emulator has only been out for a little while. You're gonna have to be patient, give it some time for development to kick off, for things to change. Um, for increased speed, added features, there might be some bugs, there might be some things currently not working. I really don't care that I died just now, it's pretty cool that I'm actually playing this. Looks way better than running in uh, on the Game Boy Advanced emulator. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Boom. So as you can see, the frame rate is spectacular in my opinion. Very good for, for a first build. Um, when it comes to input lag, I don't really have any complaints. I'm doing pretty good here. Remember, I am playing with my PS4 controller wirelessly. So that will be a little more laggy, I guess, in the inputs. In comparison to using the Joy-Cons themselves. That's okay. I'm still happy with the simulator. And I'm sure many people will be excited to see this. If you are happy to see this, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Very much appreciate it. Shows your support for the channel. More good videos to come. Stay tuned for all the latest news and updates. I'm always going to keep you guys informed if I can. As fast as I can. I grab that. One, two, three. Ah, I missed it. I should have left it. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. So as you can see, it's running nicely. Let's get Yoshi. Let's get Yoshi's right here. Boom. That's what we want. This game's great. What a classic. Like, come on now. Nintendo should have brought this stuff to the Switch right from the beginning. Couldn't have been that hard for the team, to be honest, when you think about it. They got a lot of resources in Nintendo. But what are you going to do? Here we are. We got our virtual console, everybody. If this isn't what you want, if you can't say that this is a virtual console, I don't know what you're going to call it. Obviously, it's an emulator, but if everybody wants to start speaking about virtual consoles, well, here you go, Nintendo Switch Virtual Console. Let's try and get up here real quick. Look at this. Controls are nice. Not really making any mistakes now. I'm getting used to what I was doing. Haven't played this game in a good minute. I'm sure a lot of people probably haven't. Unless they've been playing it on their PC. Or their Android. Oh, this man just took my Yoshi away. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. Get that. Drop it. 
Come on. Come over here, bud. Oh, my. Oh, could have ran to the end, but I wanted to do it the way I wanted to do it. So as you could see, the game was really smooth. As I said, the audio is very good. Um, probably switch up the game real quick. Let's see, what do we got here? Super Metroid. Is it going to load? I don't know. We could try. We might get lucky. It might be another game that works. Remember, this is the SNES emulator slash virtual console running on the Nintendo Switch 5.0.2. Like, subscribe, and share. Very much appreciated. The last is in yes, since when is the galaxy at peace? Please tell me. I'd like to know. Yes, homebrew is working. On the Nintendo Switch. Um, running 4.1.0. We can start up some. Fire Red on the Game Boy Color over here. Hmm. See if we got a save for this game. This is just one of the Game Boy Advance simulators, but we are here for the SNES. So as you can see, Metroid seems to be working. Steady frame rate, the Game Boy Color over here. That's not the best Game Boy Color emulator. <laughs> um, Metroid Prime, or whatever Metroid, whatever version this is, let's see, you can't remember. But it seems like it's got a long intro, and I don't seem like going through some intro. Um, Yoshi's Island does start too, for those who are wondering. There you go. Yoshi's Island's working. What else do we got real quick? A Link to the Past. Let's see if this version of the ROM starts up. Oh. Oh. As long as it starts, yes it is. So as you can see, many games are working. You've seen it here first. Like, subscribe, share. I appreciate all the work done by the developers, the contributors, anybody who has put any work or time into this. Remember, more emulators will be coming. It's about time. We're just going to cut this real quick. I'm going to play a game for a little bit. Take care. Leonidas is out.